Georgia forgot about herself in being a caregiver like most mothers and parents or other. You know, she has patients that she can, she's concerned about. And I think that she just sort of got lost in doing the things that she thought looked good on paper without realizing it. More than anything, I wanted to create a character who was afraid, but did it anyway. Because that to me is what all of this is about. Because if you never do anything because you're scared, Lord, where would we be? I want to feel better about myself as a human being, as a woman, when I finish reading something. I want to think, gee whiz, that character went through that? Wow. My stories are character driven and I like my characters to tell the story and that's what, to me, what makes it accessible. And I mean, I know their biggest secret and if they're liars, if they believe in being honest um, and what their fantasies are, all of that. And that's who helps me, that's what helps me know who I'm dealing with. If, if, if you can lift somebody a little bit by the story and a character in a book that they can at least identify with some emotional struggle that they are going through, it can make you not feel alone. One of the things that the engineer kept asking me to do whenever I had to, and especially dialogue, you know, I know what Wanda's voice sounds like, I know what Violet's voice sound, sounded like, her mother's voice, I was good at her mother. But then you have these guys, these men. But Terry, you know, I thought you just said he sounded, he had a sexy deep voice. You gotta sound a little deeper. But, and I was like, I don't know how to be a, how, how to make my voice, but I had to try it. And so then it was a challenge. And sometimes I would stop and she'd press that button and say, Terry, and I said, okay, I'm gonna be the man, I'm gonna be the man, you know? You don't get very many chances to read your own book aloud. And this was one of them. And I'm grateful for it, to be honest with you, for the experience.